Let me explain you some precautions for SAS macro and explain you the advantage of SAS macro. I'm going to explain you the precaution again through workout so that you can get a feel of that why you are being suggested a particular thing. So let's see that. First is that you know you must put double quotes. If you are putting single quotes, the macro will not get resolved. Let me show it to you. So here is the a small data set that I am going to create. Right. And these are the two. So this is the small data set. Let's see that you know I want to put here the maximum age from this check data set. So when I'm doing, it will find the maximum age, which you know very well that this time the maximum age is going to be 45. Look at the maximum day age is 45. That's what it is here. But if I put it in single quotes, it won't resolve. It will just put it like that. Let me show it to you. Within a single quote, it is not able to put it. It has just put it as like macro. But the moment you put it, within double quotes it actually gets resolved and it puts the value let me show it to you so look at here this time it has put 45 last time it has not it was just putting this kind of so what you need to understand to use macro keep in mind never use single quotes always use double quotes now let me explain you the second part of the syntax you know you must put period to define the end error happens at times when sas tries to resolve let me show it to you so here and keep in mind if at all by any chance you have to take it as probably library like sas help is a library and data name is hard you know what i'm doing here i'm putting another dot so this is resolving this will resolve to sas help and this will resolve to hard and because there is an additional dot it will work like a library let me show it to you so look at it understood that it has to print sas help dot heart the most mistake people do that sometimes they forget to put this dot and then there is no data set like sas help heart and that's where they get the error now third point you know, let me explain you how you can make some parameter as default value so that it is optional for user to define. And there is one nitty gritty also that you need to understand. So let's say it is just this loop start, end, and this time I have put value as by equal to one. So what it is going to do, if at all you are not going to pass this value, it will take by default one. So let me show it to you. So I run this and next time when I'm just running one and five, just see what is happening. It ran perfectly. One to two, one, two, three, four, five, the way it should have. But look at the moment I pass the third parameter, what will happen? It will actually throw an error. So it's saying more positional parameter found. The reason is that if you really have to pass the optional parameter, the best what is required is there that you explain it like that, that this is the variable, this is the value, this is the variable, this is the value. Now it won't give an error. Let me show it to you. So this time it will go to 1 to 5 by 2. So 1 to 3 and 3 to 5. If you look at 1 to 3, 3 to 5. It hasn't done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this time you can make it optional. So if any by any reason you do not want to supply this one, you can say start 1, end 5. It will do by 5 times because by default it is 1. So if you look at you look at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, everything it has done. So if you look at what you are able to do here, that you have made this parameter optional. If user is not supplying, you are taking the default value. So these are
precautions and these are the way by which you can enhance the SAS macro one more thing you need to understand if at all I ask you a question do SAS macro reduce the time of execution the answer is no the SAS macro actually gets resolved by the SAS syntax itself so it doesn't have impact on the execution time but it has big impact on readability of the code at times your very big code becomes a very small code which is much easier to manage secondly it reduces the error possibility in writing the code when you are doing multiple times there is always more error possible than by SAS macro and the third thing is that what you need to understand it reduces the human effort in writing the code which can be Herculean at times I mean if you look at just the last workout I had told you that if you had to do those many things look at the number of category and all those things it would have been a nightmare to write such a code that you are able to achieve pretty quickly by the use of the SAS macro